Hey guys, this is Harrison from Predators Reptile Center here to talk to you about the natural history and captive care of one of my favorite groups of amphibians, the Amazon milk frog. These guys are really cool. They're part of the genus Trachycephalus. They're native to the Amazon rainforest in South America. These guys are very cool. They're referred to as Amazon milk frogs because when stressed, they'll actually secrete a milky white substance that deters predators. They're also really interesting in the sense that they have blue blood and blue organs, and their translucent skin actually allows you to see their internal organs at work. Really, really cool little fella. Now, for housing, we recommend a sealed enclosure. That way it'll actually help increase humidity levels in your terrarium. Uh, and humidity is very important for these guys. Uh, heat, not so much. You're not gonna need like any kind of advanced lighting or anything like that. During the colder parts of the year, you might need an under tank heater or an under tank mat. But apart from that, humidity is the most important thing for these guys. Um, to seal your enclosure, you could use saran wrap around the lid of the enclosure, and that'll help seal the enclosure off. Getting some terrarium clips as well, so that way you have a tight grip on your enclosure's lid will actually prevent these guys from getting out. To maintain that humidity, you're gonna to wanna to mist these guys about once to two times every day. These guys are primarily insectivores, so a wide variety of different insects is very important. For enclosure size, we recommend an 18 by 18 by 24 enclosure. Uh, these guys, this is just a little baby right now, but when he's fully grown, he'll actually be fairly large, and an 18 by 18 by 24 will be large enough to house at least one of these guys. Uh, we also recommend a water bowl in one corner, of the, uh, one corner of the terrarium. So that way, if he gets too dry, he has some place to uh, take a bath and regain a little bit of that moisture. <laughs> As you can see too, I'm wearing gloves right now. Uh, these guys have very permeable skin. And that means that any kind of oils or any kind of chemicals that are on your hands can actually be absorbed by these guys' skin and can actually cause your frog to get very sick. So we highly recommend that you wear gloves whenever you have to handle your frogs, although like as little handling as possible for these guys is pretty good. In fact, I'm actually gonna put this guy back right now just to like de-stress him and make sure that he is good to go. Awesome, I'll be right back. Some of the items you're gonna need for your shopping list for your Amazon milk frogs are these. These are hydro balls. This can act as a drainage layer in your Amazon uh, milk frogs enclosure. And that's gonna help maintain that humidity level, but also prevent fungal uh, infections from happening to your frog and prevent fungus from growing in your terrarium. Also a fairly large water dish. This is big enough for your Amazon milk frog to bathe in if it needs to. Remember during the colder parts of the year, you might need an under tank uh, Reptitherm UTH heater as well. Uh, but remember, you don't need any kind of highlighting or anything like that. Uh, these guys prefer it to be a little bit on the cooler side. But UV lighting would actually be pretty good too if you want to use like UV lighting in any way. Sphagnum moss as well, once again, to maintain that humidity. Remember, humidity is so key for these guys. They really, really need it. And the sphagnum moss like this will actually help maintain that humidity very, very well. Humidity gauge and thermometer gauge like this guy right here will actually be really good to help you monitor the heat and humidity levels in your terrarium. This stuff comes in real handy. More bedding like this Eco Earth, which is a compressed coconut fiber, can also be really good as substrate in your enclosure as well. This doesn't mold super bad, and it also um, can be evenly displaced around the enclosure as well. Amazon milk frogs also do really well in a bioactive setting, so introducing some isopods and springtails into your enclosure can do wonders. And then you can also get the Reptitherm digital thermostat as well. That way you can monitor the and set the humidity levels and heat levels in your terrarium as well. Very easy to program as well and easy to set up. Thanks for checking out the Amazon Milk Frog. If you want to learn more, come check us out. We're located on Baseline in Pennington. Follow us on all social media platforms and we hope to see you soon.